Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about choosing the next Shadowlands mount, which is something Blizzard is doing to allow the community to vote on a new mount that's going to be coming out, I think, early next year for Shadowlands. So, here's what they have to say. This year, we've all been called upon to overcome many things. We're very grateful to you, our community, for being with us each step of the way during uncertain times. And that spirit of unity, as a token of our appreciation, we want to collaborate with everyone who owns Shadowlands to create a mount you can ride across the realms of the afterlife. Vote here by September 18th when the polls close. We'll tally up each region's results to determine which is the fan favorite. Please note that there are several polls from different regions, so make sure yours is counted in the correct region. Making a mount together. Our artists have kicked things off by coming up with concepts for five unique mounts for you to choose between. Now it's your, now it's your part. Pick your favorite from the poll linked below. Highest number of votes internationally will be crowned the winning choice, and our artists will begin working on making your choice a reality. So there's no pictures yet. This is all just imagination. So we've got the Wandering Ancient. Not all ancients are interested in war or lore. Some just wanted to travel the world. A large and leafy mount, the Wandering Ancient invites you to climb aboard and grab hold of its branches as you embark upon a lumbering expedition. The Soaring Spell Tome. In the forgotten depths of the Dalaran Library, this oversized tome was found flapping madly around the room. Open the pages of this arcane infused book and a hitch and hitch a ride to a magical adventure. Nerubian Swarmer. When the Helm of Domination shattered, the Nerubians under the control of the Lich King were unleashed. Some were captured by the Argent Crusade and turned by their allies in the Ebon Blade. Now their spidery claws are put to use as mounts, skittering through the frozen tundra of Icecrown in pursuit of the rampaging undead. The Curious Caterpillar. This is a good one. Curious Caterpillar found its way to the Heartland and Valley of the Four Winds one night and gorged itself on the oversized vegetables. The Pandaren of Half Hill awoke the next morning to find the crops half eaten and an enormous slumbering caterpillar among them. Too large to become a butterfly, this friendly worm is just the right size to train as a mount. And then we've got the Gooey Slime Saber. <laughs> From the slime pools of Plaguefall emerged an all manner of jellied creature, including the Sticky Kitty. A slimy saber cat that's dripping with ooze. It's the kind of mount you're going to want to wear gloves for. All right. Uh, and then we've got our artist finish make the mount ready to ride. It'll be added to the mount collection tab in quarter one 2021 for every player with Shadowlands activated on their account. Blah, 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 blah. Have fun. So, which mount do you want is the question. But how do we choose without knowing what they look like? Well, uh, on Wowhead... They actually had something where a fan-made concept images of the free Shadowlands mounts have emerged. Uh, so players are quite excited over the free Shadowlands mount. Uh, as the winning mount will be developed by Blizzard's art team, the official post did not come without any concept art, however. Styven has created images using existing World of Warcraft and Warcraft 3 Reforged assets to show what the basic versions of these mounts could resemble. Resemble? Resemble? I actually don't know how to... It's, I think it's resemble. Keep in mind, these are fan-made, not official images. Official images could look completely different, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then cast your vote. So here's what they think the Wandering Ancient will look like. See, he's like sitting on top there in the, in the tree. That one actually looks pretty cool. Uh, Soaring Spell Tome. I mean, this could be cool for some people, but... I don't know, it just reminds me of the magic carpet, you know what I mean? Like you're just soaring around in the magic carpet. I don't know, like, and if you're a mage, it might be cool, but, like, what if you're a warrior? You don't want to fly around a spell tome. It's too, like, it's too specific, I guess, is what I'm saying. Nerubian Swarmer. Uh, don't know that Orgrimmar music kicks in. Uh, that could be okay. Like, it's all right. Um, but here's the big one. The Curious Caterpillar. I love this one. This one looks actually amazing. Uh, I would love to ride around a Caterpillar. You can be anything. You can be a Gnome, a Tarn, Warrior priest, whatever, but you can ride on a caterpillar, no doubt. And then the gooey slime bear, uh, or slime sabers, not slime bear, so it's like a cat, and he's made out of ooze, which, I think that one looks kind of cool as well. That'd probably be my number three choice. I think I'd do one, two, or no, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, that's probably my options, but um, that's not where I want to end this video, because I could very be easily be like, hey guys, here's all this stuff, whatever. I am going to draw for you 
my my art representation of these mounts. <laughs> so let's kick it off. All right, bust open the paint here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, you got your tree. I'll give him like legs. He's gotta have like root legs. You know what I'm saying? And then he'll have his arms like an ant. And you go back. And he'll have like big tree branch fingers. Right, and you got your tree branch fingers here. Uh, his big thumb. He's got a green thumb, actually. Because he's a tree. He's out working in the fields. Um, all right, or the forests, I guess. Uh, and then, you know, he's probably covered in leaves, like it said. So, you know, cover him in leaves. And then he's going to have his big tree head. And he's kind of got, like, the wolf look. So you give him, like, some fangs. And nose. And his eyes. There we are. And then probably his tree hair. Uh, okay, so you got that. And then on the back of him is you. So you can see here you got uh, your in-game player. You're just grabbing on. You're having a fun time. You got your uh, sword. Uh, hold on, let me... Here we go, let's do some of this, and then... Bam, look at that, now you're an adventure. Uh, actually you need some shoulder pads, probably higher level. Not that it matters anymore, hey -o. Uh, there we go. So that's, uh, that's my first, uh, first one. Uh, this would be my number two mount. Hold on, let me go ahead and... Uh, scrap that for now. It's saved in the eternal abyss of YouTube and my video library. Uh, so now, what was the next one we had? We had, uh, the Spell Tome. Alright, Spell Tome's an easy one. So you literally just got, like, a uh, book. But here's the thing, right? Okay, you got your normal Spell Tome. We'll make him like he's flapping. He's flapping around here, and then... He needs to have, like, a happy face, right? So you're gonna be surfing on top. Like, whoa! You're, uh, very long arms, but you're very excited. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, uh, what kind of face do I give him here? Alright, so he's gotta have, like, some scroll text, right? So here's scroll text. Okay, but, here's where, you, here's where you kick it up a bit. You go to, like, a golden brown, and then he's gonna have one right here, and a little smile. So he kind of blends in with his own text, but it's like a camouflage type of blend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then we'll say, uh, since we're in Orgrimmar, we got some Orgrimmar music right now, I'll just draw like we're in Orgrimmar, here's, uh, the, like, castle keep thing, here's the gate, we're flying over the gate right now, we're up in the air, there's the gate, gate's closed for the first time in, like, forever, you got, like, your things up here, you got, like, uh, Thrall, Thrall's up here, and he's, like, uh, hold on, let me give him some, like, do 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 He's saying, like, wow. God, wow. He's just saying wow. He can't believe what he sees. Is he saying wow because of how bad it looks? Is he saying wow because he's jealous? Is he saying wow because you're playing wow? There's so many uh, avenues you can go down. All right, so that's the spell tome. Next up, we've got the Nerubian Swarmer, all right? Nerubian Swarmer. So this one, we're in the Lich King area, so I'm already just going to... Give it, like, some ice down here, right? It's not water, it's ice. Uh, I gotta add, like, some some of this. That way, you know, it's kind of frozen over. Yeah, it's a little art art trick I learned in, in school. Uh, so, okay, Nerubian Swarmers. He's gonna be, like, purplish. Have his crazy legs. Probably more crazy legs out here. And then his body, all right? So he's a spider, right? So he's, kinda, he's got all these crazy legs. He's kind of all over the place. Uh, and then we'll do, like, a pink head here so you can kind of see and just give him some eyes all right I don't even know if they got ears or not but I'll just give him some little like weird ears uh he's got to be able to spit webs right because he's spiders so, like pew, pew, pew. here's his like little spider web things there we go uh and you can like hit your friends so we'll say he's got a friend over here who's just been hit and he's all like cocooned up like ah jeez Looks like Frodo in Lord of the Rings after he gets wrapped up by uh, Sheba or whatever name it is. I don't remember the spider in Lord of the Rings name. What was it? Lord of the Rings spider name. 
Shelob, not Sheba. Okay, that's what it was. So yeah, I have to get wrapped up by Shelob. Uh, but then you, we'll say, uh, we'll say it's uh, Billy. Like, woo, he gets his new mount. All right, he's riding on top. He's having fun time. Uh, yeah, there he is. And yeah, I'll give him, like, uh, a little saddle. You can have a little saddle here. All right, your grab on. There we go. So, honestly, I think if it looked like this, Nerubian could move up in the rankings. But we'll see. Uh, move on. Uh, next up, we've got the Caterpillar. Now, I'm a big fan of this Caterpillar, right? So, I'm going to go ahead. we got green, blue. All right, so green, blue, green, blue, okay, green, blue. Last one. Okay, now, is this head part of the thing? Okay, no, he's got a little, like, wonky head down here. All right, so we'll give him the wonky head. He's going to have that little tooth. He's very happy. Uh, have a little, like, ear thing here. A little back there. Give him, like, a little, oop, side. Side eye. And then you do, like, the nose. Uh, all right, then he's going to have his feet. So we're going to do, like, some crazy feet here. All right, there he is. And you're going to be on top. Let's do, uh, make a night elf for this one. All right, night elf. Uh, standing up here. Give him one of the new, like, night elf beards. Uh, there we are. Big ears. Big ears. Uh, green hair, actually. Give him green hair. Green beard. There we go. Uh, then. Alright, so he is from, like, Pandaria, right? So, uh, let's see. Here's, uh, we gotta draw, like, buildings for comparison. We'll draw, like, Half Hill. Uh, in the Valley of the Four Winds. So here's Half Hill. It's just like all these buildings. They like farms, right? Because there's grass. And uh, he's literally just stepping out. This is this is the size of Pandaria. All right. So here's Half Hill. And Pandaria is just like this. So there's Half Hill. Uh, here's like Kunlai Summit up here. Right. Uh, here's like some other zones down here. So this guy, he's actually going to be as big as Pandaria. So when you ride this mount, you can like crush the world. Uh, I think that would be fantastic. I'd love that type of mount. Uh, and then uh, finally, <laughs> we've got the gooey slime saber. All right. So when I think gooey slime saber, all right, you got a cat and you got goo. You got two main elements right here. So let's draw a cat in the form of a goo. So let's roll this color out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do an edited color. I'll do like a... Right here. Okay, nice in between. So you got to give him like the goo. Alright. And down. He's got to have the goo tail. Alright. Uh, got whiskers. Like so. Give him the goo mouth. Actually, no, he needs like the... Uh, no, nah, I don't want to be angry. A little bit curious. There we go. So then, like that. Probably another paw up here. Nah, it's too many. Actually, no, back it up, back it up. Alright, too many paw. Okay, and then, like, uh, jeez. Alright, we'll work with it. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'll have, like, a paw on the back here. You can kind of see. One, two, three. And then, you know, uh, some, like, fur. And, like, some fur lines, but it's not actually fur lines, just goo. And then he needs, like, some goo dripping off of him, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, goo drip. And then you don't actually ride this mount, you actually just sink into him, and you just live inside, kind of like you're in jello. A little confused. Uh, but yeah, and then once you, once you get off the mount, he just melts. He melts away, and then you're good to go. But, yeah, you live inside this mount uh, when when you're riding it. I think that would be way better than actually riding on top of the goose, the goo cat, right? Um, and that would be, uh, that would be all my, <laughs> all my drawings of the new mount. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I felt like, I just felt like that'd be a fun thing to do since there's no art. Well, I mean, some people made art, but, you know, they haven't made, you know top-tier Microsoft Paint art, I guess is what I'm saying. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>
<laughs> if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click the bell. Ding ding. Uh, also, give this video a th thumbs up. That's that's a thumb. Smash that like button. All right, I'm done. Thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, okay. See ya.